Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we are gonna cover the next function that you pass into your middleware using Express.js uh, whenever you're dealing with route handlers. And so a student asked in Colt Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp why in the Yelp Camp source code, which we're looking at now, why some of the methods for the controllers had the next parameter and others did not. So that's what we're gonna cover here. Uh, sorry about the audio. I don't have all my soundproofing stuff set up uh, in my office right now because I'm trying to move. Um, and things are a little off kilter from this whole winter storm that happened in the last week. So getting straight to it, we're looking at here a controller for Yelp Camp where we have all these different methods that get mapped to the different routes over in our router, which is happening here. And because we're using Express 4 and not 5, we have a custom function here that handles any potential async errors. Okay, so basically it's a function that takes a function, which is gonna be a middleware function, and it returns that function, passing in rec resin next, and then if any errors occur during the invocation of that function, especially with anything that's asynchronous, like a call to a database or an API, then it'll catch that error and it'll pass it on to the next function, which happens to be the error handler, okay? So I'll show you how that works here in a minute, but. Back over here, we're looking at these different methods. This one is the one that shows all the campgrounds. It's the index method. And it has asynchronous code that's being awaited, right? We have async await being used, but it doesn't have the next keyword. So what happens here if we have an error that occurs inside of this campground.find, this asynchronous call of the database, does it get handled properly? So the, the question there is, it will the code throw an error or will it give you an error that needs to be handled with a try catch? Well, how's that going to work? So we're going to go ahead and uh, run it through the paces. But in short, according to the Express.js documentation, if you have a synchronous function, for example, render new form, which literally all it does is render a form. It doesn't do any asynchronous calls to a database or to an API or anything like that. It just does one synchronous piece of code where it just renders the form and it could do some other stuff, but in this case, it's just rendering the form. That does not require the use of next to pass the error on to the error handler. In fact, if an error gets thrown in that case, it will simply uh, handle it automatically. So I'll show you an example of that uh, here. Let's just pretend that the campgrounds one is synchronous for a second. So if we throw a new error here, and we say this is an error and we save it and then we go look at our code and this is something I had pulled up from before so let's refresh it. It'll say this is an error. So this is our error page. It's handling it correctly. It's, it's giving it to us in like a flash message type format. And then what we're seeing here is like a stack trace. So for production with users viewing it in, in real time, not, not acceptable, but for development purposes, this is useful for us, right? It tells us that this is the error message also, same message here. It's happening here at module exports index, and then it happens on line nine inside of campgrounds JS file inside of our controller. So that brings us right here, line nine, and that is in fact where the error is being thrown. Now we're throwing the error manually. This is how you do it if you have synchronous code. So, like let's say you had an error here, you would just handle that error by throwing it this way, and it would get handled with, if you go over to app.js, scroll all the way to the very bottom. You've got your little error handler set up right here. This is how it would get handled automatically, okay? And that's how Express.js is, is set up. So if you go to the error handling documentation, which I will link in the description below, it'll tell you that errors that occur in synchronous code inside route handlers and middleware require no extra work. If synchronous code throws an error, then Express will catch and process it. For example, Here's some synchronous code, it's throwing an error just like we did a moment ago, and Express will catch it on its own. Great, that's not what we're worried about. What we're worried about is when we have errors for asynchronous functions that are invoked by route handlers and middleware. You must pass them to the next function so that Express will catch and process them, okay? So here, they show you an example, uh, they're using callbacks so they don't have the async keyword before the function name, but this right here, files, uh, file system, dot read file, fs dot read file, is an asynchronous uh, function call, and therefore it has potential for an error, so we handle that error with an if error, next error uh, situation there. So 
in this case, let me just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, in our controller, back up here into the module exports index where we have const campgrounds is equal to await campground.find. Campground.find is an asynchronous call to the database and therefore we need to handle any potential errors with passing them on to next. Now, fortunately for us, uh, the errors, I believe, are gonna get handled automatically over here in catch async, right? We invoke the function here, this function, being this function. We pass in rec res and next, right? Rec res next. And then if any errors occur, we catch them and we invoke next. And that passes it on down the line. The other way of doing it would be like a try. And then you try this function right here and you do a catch error. And then inside of the error, you would do like a next error, okay? But that's one, two, three, four, five lines of code when we could have done it with a dot catch method with one line of code, right? So it's a little bit prettier doing it this way, albeit a little bit more difficult to understand. So circling back over here, currently any errors that occur will be handled because they get passed on to next. But what if next doesn't exist? Well, as long as this is working, we'll never know, right? So the only way to test it is to do it ourselves, right? And so uh, the only way to be able to do it ourselves, the, the easiest way is just to do it right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and say next new error, and then uh, something is broken. So here we're saying, yeah, pass this new error that occurred, we're just pretending that an error occurred with campgrounds even though it hasn't been run yet, uh, but for argument's sake, we're saying, yeah, an error occurred, and this is how it needs to get passed on, right? That's how the documentation says to do it, pass it on with next error. And so when we go back to our running application and we refresh, we should see, if it's handled properly, we should see it right here. But instead, it's actually, it's showing the same page, but instead of showing the something is broken, it just says that next is not defined. So it's giving us an error, but it's not the error we expected. It's the error that's telling us that our error handling is broken because the next function that we're trying to call right here, next, excuse me, is not defined. So the solution for this is just to pass in next right here. So if we refresh, now it says something is broken. Simple as that. So the takeaway from all this is really simple. In Express 4, if you're gonna write your own catch async utility that allows you to wrap your controller methods in the catch async utility so that anytime you have an asynchronous method you can catch any of those errors and pass them on to your error handler then you need to make sure that those middleware functions from your controller have the next argument and it goes rec res and next always in that order so if you omit that on these async functions and you do end up with an error, then you could potentially run into some trouble, like your application breaking because the next function is not available to you. So again, just to review express error handling, it explains it here, I'll link it in the description. If you're doing something synchronous, you don't have to worry about it. If an error gets thrown, then it's gonna get handled by the uh, error handler automatically, express will catch it for you. But if you're doing something asynchronous, then you need to make sure that you have that next argument, okay? So for me personally, I just include it on in all of them. Uh, but if you wanna make sure things are a little more succinct, you don't wanna have a bunch of next floating around as parameters when you don't need them, then just know that you should only be omitting the next function as a parameter for your middleware function in, <laughs> hey bud, inside of your synchronous functions. So synchronous, doesn't matter if you don't have next. Asynchronous, you gotta have it. Uh, in terms of why Yelp Camp doesn't include it for all of them, it was just an oversight, right? Uh, Colt may have forgot to include it for that kind of stuff. So when you're writing your own code and you're asking yourself the question, when do I include it, when do I not? Again, you can refer to the documentation, I'll link it below, but synchronous, don't have to include it. Asynchronous, make sure you have it. Uh, unless, of course, your synchronous function this is the tricky part, and this is why I always include next no matter what. If your synchronous middleware chain has a situation where you have more than one callback function and they have to get from one function to the next, then yeah, you need to include it. So let's go look at our routes here. 
If we go down to posts, this right here is a bad example because it's a combination of like synchronous stuff and asynchronous, but it'll work for what we're about to describe. So yeah, this is logged in middleware. If we go over to the middleware and it has rec res and next. If the user's not logged in, then it redirects them. Otherwise, it just invokes next. It doesn't pass anything to it, right? This is a different situation where we're not passing an error to it, so it doesn't need an argument. Instead, we're just saying, give the control of the program to the next middleware function in the uh, middleware chain. So we look at the routes, the next one that goes is the upload array image. After it's done doing what it's doing, it does the same thing, as it invokes next, and then it gets to validate campground, okay? So in that case, even though it is logged in, if we go look at that middleware, as far as I can tell, this is not asynchronous. I don't see any callbacks. I don't see any uh, async await. I don't see any dot uh, uh, then, thenable functions, um, no dot catch, nothing like that, right? So it's, on paper, this looks like it is synchronous and we're still using next because it's at the beginning of this middleware chain. So ultimately, if you want to play it safe, just make sure you include rec res and next in every single one of them. But if you want to get fancy, just remember that on some of these synchronous functions that are not involved in the middleware chain, where they're just the only function, the last function in that chain, then you don't need next. That's it. I'm getting interrupted again. Hey, baby. So I'm going to go. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll catch you all in the next video.